In this lesson, we'll be going over how to use the curvature tool in Adobe Illustrator, which is located over here in your toolbar. Now, the curvature tool works the same way the pen tool does. The only difference is it forces you to create curved lines. Let me show you what I mean here. If I click to create points, as you can see, these points that I'm creating, they are following a curved path. Now, the benefit of using this tool is that it makes smooth, fluid lines automatically without you having to learn how to use the, the regular pen tool properly. So as you can see there, I was able to make that nice, smooth, curved path using the curvature tool. Now, if I had tried doing that with the regular pen tool, it's possible, but it takes a lot more skill because this tool has a pretty steep learning curve involved with it. And even then, you don't get perfectly smooth. If you notice there, I finished that path up with a corner, so that didn't come out too well. Uh, for, for creating these curved shapes, the, the uh, curvature tool really is the way to go. So let me show you a few ways in which this tool works. Let me get back over here. Uh, much like the pen tool, you click to create a point. And then you click to create another point. And if you notice, there's a line following the two points, but that's not the line that you've created. The line that you're going to create is this blue line here, this blue indicator giving you a preview of what it's going to look like. So if I put, if I place this point right here, the line that I create is going to follow that blue path. I'll click right there and there you go. Now we can do the same thing. I'd come over here and create another point. Now, if you notice, as I move this around, that blue path is changing its position relative to the original path that I drew. And the reason why it does that is to ensure that the lines that you're creating are smooth and fluid. That's the benefit of using this tool. It forces it to be smooth and fluid like that. Now, while using this tool, if you want to create straight lines, all you have to do is hold down the Alt key. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to click to create a point right there. And now that is a corner. And now what I could do is I could hold Alt and continue on creating straight lines like that. And once again, if you want to lock those lines onto vertical and horizontal axes, you can hold Alt and Shift at the same time like that. And if at any point you want to get back to making smooth lines, all you have to do is let go of everything. And now the curved lines will commence, as you can see there. And when you go to close the path, it will automatically close that path in such a way that the anchor point is smooth like that. So one good example of when this tool would be useful is when you're using it to trace over an image or a subject, like you're trying to create a silhouette or uh, crop out something. I'll put an example up here on the screen. As you can see here, I'm tracing over this image of a banana using the curvature tool. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make a shape that I can then use as a clipping mask uh, to uh, sort of delete the background from this image and kind of just extract the banana from that image. So this is one example where this tool would come in useful. And that is how you can use the curvature tool in Adobe Illustrator.